Howdy little stars, I'm back with some more Minnesota lottery tickets for you. That's right, if you've been watching the channel, you already know I was up in Minneapolis. Minneapolis, I don't know why sometimes my tongue gets twisted with that. Anyway, I was up there on a business trip and I decided to pick up some tickets for you guys. We've already done one session's worth, so if you missed that, check that out. Today we're continuing and today we have a $20, $25 million big blowout, two apparently. And then we have a $5 Frogger, two $5 Strike It Big, and one $3 Fruit Explosion. So that's a $38 session, I do believe. And this $20 ticket, let me tell you, I've made a mistake again and I bought a ticket without like seeing what it was. This is one of those crazy one in 9.48 tickets instead of the normal like one in three, uh, which only has a one, two or $500 prize. So winning on that is gonna take quite a bit of luck, but cross your fingers and your toes. Hopefully we can do it because that would certainly be nice. But yeah, when I asked for it, um, I didn't realize that that's the type of ticket that it was till I got back to my hotel and was looking at them. And I was like, oh no, I didn't buy a normal 20. I bought a crazy 20. Seems like I do that a lot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and scratch this the slightly faster way, which means we're gonna reveal everything instead of one at a time to save us a few minutes of our life. All right, cherries, do we have cherries? We do have cherries. What about grapes? We do have grapes. Apples, yes we do. And do we have a fig? Oh, the disappointing fig. That's all I needed on that one. Shucks. All right, cherries, yes we do. What about star fruit? Yes we do. Lemon, yes we do. Apple, yes we do. What about a pineapple? Again on the last one? That is really mean of them to do. Well, there's pineapple in all of these, so they're all out. There's figs in both of those, so they're out. So moving on, coconut, yep. Kiwi? No kiwi. So that's out, back down here, coconut, yep. Strawberry, yep, coconut, yep. What about avocado? No avocado. And strawberry, I do see that. Banana, yes I do. Coconut, yes I do. Blueberry, yep. Pear, yes. Cantaloupe, yes. All right, it looks like we won on this one. I'm glad we won on one. They were teasing us so much on some of the other ones. All right, can we get another one? Banana, yes. A strawberry, yes. Blueberry, yes. Oh, no. Kiwi and kiwi. So we don't have the kiwi, so it's only going to be this one. Hey, 20 bucks. $20 on a $3 ticket is a really nice win. So let's get excited. That gets us like over half back. Just barely, but still, all on its own, and it's only a $3 ticket. All right, I'm excited for this one. This is a $5 Frogger. I love these little Frogger tickets. I don't know if we've had one in Texas before. I've played many of these, but I believe they were all from other states. Anyway, the way this works is we have three frogs. If any of them can make it to the finish line, they win the corresponding prize. Along the way, we're going to get instructions with little arrows uh, to tell us what direction to go in. If along the way... We find three froggies, we win $25. We find three coins, we win $50. As soon as we find the game over symbol, it's over for that frog. He's been ran over or whatever. Let's hope we don't go the, the wrong way. Huh, amounts, let's see. I'm assuming there's also something with collecting amounts. Let's see. When you find a prize amount, keep scratching in the direction of the arrow. If within all three revealed paths, you find three identical prize amounts, win that amount. So basically what that means is if we find two more 50s within the paths that they reveal, then we win the 50 bucks. All right, so this is going this way. I forgot that they give you the dollar amounts. We got one coin. One frog.
Our froggy is still going. Aw, they took us all the way up there for nothing. All right, frog number two. We got 120, a five, coin, a 75, Three hundred. Oops, went the wrong way. Game over again. How rude. We do have two coins, though. And I think the coins don't have to be in the same game. I think you can find them across all three games. a hundred. I don't believe we have a hundred anywhere else. Ten thousand. We have two ten thousands. And the game over. All right. Sadly, I think we lost on our Frogger. Well, all right, now we have two of these $5 Strike It Big. I actually got these at the airport, not at the retailer that I visited. All right, 57, 58 are the ticket numbers. Let's see what our instructions say. Three identical symbols to win the corresponding prize. All right, for 25, for 50, for 75. Nope, let's do it again. Nope, 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 sadly, nope. All right, down at the bottom, we need to match the winning numbers or get a diamond for double, a money bag for five times. Oops, too low. Let's go see if we can find any symbols and then we'll check the winning numbers. I also have to tell anyone who's a native well, at least the area I was in, in Minneapolis, Minnesotan though, the accents of Minnesotans are so cute. I kept running into locals and having conversations with them and I'm not great at accents at identifying them and I definitely can't do them. Um, but that was a very unique accent and I quite enjoy it. I think it's cute. All right, 36. We found a video where Taylor Swift does a Minnesota soccer mom accent impression. Cracked me up. It sounded just like what I'm referring to. 47. All right, nothing there. This is not going very good other than our little $20 win on the fruit ticket. All right, three of the same symbol. Let's do them this way this time. Mean. All right, down here. It's going to have to be a matching number for us to get the win. Thirty three. 14, 42, 40. Should have saved my money at the airport. Those were not winners. All right. Last but not least, the $20, 25 million big blowout two. All right, we just need the money bag to win the corresponding prize. Apparently, you can only win 100, 200, or 500 on this ticket. Odds are 1 in 9.48. And I have to tell you, the reason I ended up with this is when I was asking him for the big blue ticket, which is a different ticket, 
he thought this is what I meant. So he pulled it off the roll. And once I saw he pulled it off the roll, I had to take it. I just, I can never leave behind a ticket someone accidentally pulls. So we're gonna need a lot of luck for this to give us what we need, but I couldn't not buy it. I couldn't ignore it and wonder if it was a winner. So here we are playing it through. All we're looking for is money bags. Nothing else matters. Come on, money bag. Oh, there's candy. Useless candy on this ticket. All right, last row. Last chance. We did not, we lost, we lost on our 20, you guys. Well, that hurts. The most action we got was on the smallest ticket and lucky for us, it was a decent win. So we did get just barely over half back. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have one more Minnesota lottery session that I'll be doing for you guys. So stay tuned to see how I do on those tickets. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. See you on the next one. Bye.